Hey guys, it's Derek with Houston Freethinkers again. I'm here with Glenn Addison. How are you doing, sir? Honored to be with you, Derek. He's a candidate running for, uh, for the Senate, correct? United States Senate, yes. Um, and we're here to give him a chance to speak his, you know, his views and the issues he cares about so you guys at home can, can find out more about him and get involved this next, this next campaign season. So, we've talked a little bit earlier, you know, you mentioned some of the things that, that are important to you and they seem to center around uh, a very important document in the history of this country. Absolutely, Derek. It's all centered around the U.S. Constitution. And I'm honored to be with you today, somebody who loves liberty and who loves this document and who thinks that, who knows as I have, that, that we have strayed so far from this document. And so what I've been telling the people of Texas, and again, mine is a grassroots campaign, and I'm just, anytime I can get in front of liberty-loving people, I just say, thank you, God, okay? Because it, there's enough of us out there that if we work together and we spread this message in this great thing we call social media, oh my goodness, we have the ability now in 2012 to change the country. And, and so we're seeing, we're seeing examples of that in some of these early primary and caucus states, how the liberty loving people are saying, you know what, I'm not going to listen to the establishment. I'm not going to listen to the pundits. I'm not going to listen to these folks who say, oh, well, your voice doesn't need to be heard. Nonsense. It's all about this document. And they've been ignoring it for decades. And thus, we have a country that is teetering on collapse into third world status because of the fact that we've got all these government agencies and departments that are unconstitutional that are sucking the lifeblood out of the American economy and out of the pockets of producers like you and I and, and transferring it to other countries and transferring it to unconstitutional things like occupying other nations. Now where is that in the book? Uh-uh, it's not there. And so we have got to be about restoring the Constitution. So you mentioned the Constitution and that is the basis for your Absolutely. campaign and for your beliefs politically. <clears throat> so let's just go through a couple of things and you just tell me uh, support against it, you know, constitutional, go for it. constitutional, Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve is unconstitutional, but we can't just throw it out tomorrow. We've got to do a complete audit. There's no telling what kind of smelly stuff we're going to uncover in this audit because they do everything under the cover of darkness, under secrecy. There is no accountability. I favor, like Dr. Paul, a complete and profound audit. I don't know what we're going to find, Eric, but what, what, whenever we get that done, we need to phase it out as quick as we can and go to a monetary system that's based on something other than the printing press. Okay. Okay. Federal Reserve, you support an audit of that? Absolutely. Um, recently, we've got the National Defense Authorization Act, which is President Obama, Obama has just signed into law as of New Year's Eve 2011, which allows for indefinite detention of American citizens if considered um, hostile. The, the whole, that whole discussion <clears throat> is frightening. Uh, anytime that people in, that represent the people of the United States in the Senate or the House <clears throat> are talking about taking away my constitutional right to due process, then that gets the, the, hair on the, the proverbial hair on the back of my neck standing up. And it's, and it's an outrage that very few Republicans stood up to fight it. You've got these empire builders in both parties, and especially in the Republican Party, that have gone along with this hook, line, and sinker. That, you know, the Patriot Act, unconstitutional, denying due process. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we have fallen, some of our people have fallen into the trap of saying, oh, well, you know, we hate these people over here, so we can take their due process away from them. No, you can't. If they're American citizens, don't be talking that trash to me. The document says that American citizens are unique individuals. Their due process should not be denied. And so this business of the NDAA, what an outrage that the discussion even came up. But you know, unfortunately, <clears throat> we have a history We've, we've con committed some sins toward our own people in the past. You look at World War II, okay? Japanese internment Japanese camps. Japanese internment camps. I mean, you know, and, and what did history show? History showed that some of our most valiant fighters were men who had a heritage, uh, a Japanese heritage, and, uh, and I appreciate their service to our country. What Roosevelt did was unconstitutional. Uh, and, and so we, we better be careful. We are on a slippery slope, Derek. You, you start letting the president be judge, jury, and executioner of American citizens, it's frightening, okay? I, I'm, I'm 
pretty conservative. I'm a guy of the book. What if a future president, or this current president, says, that Addison, oh, oh, he's got me worried. We need to get him out of in front of cameras. We need to put him in some uh, room with no windows Guantanamo indefinitely. Bay. Guantanamo Bay or wherever. You know, it's it's an outrage. Okay, so we, we say we help you get elected, sir, and uh, <clears throat> the Patriot Act reauthorization comes up again. Which way are you voting on that? I vote against it. I don't see that it's in the book, Derek. If it's not in the book, you know, and it could be something that, you know, we, we got too many people addicted to the government in terms of their, their I, I use the word moochers, okay? Uh, you may have heard me say that, you know, we're addicted to debt. We've got to get off of it. It's not going to be fun. We've got some people that are on the government team, and they like that team. And when you pull them off, the squealing is going to begin. And so anything that's not in the book uh, that I vote, I mean, there's going to be some people, whoa, 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 you're, you're cutting my program, Glenn. Yeah, we sure are, because guess what? We're broke. You know, I, I'm going to treat the federal budget like I do my own budget, okay? Uh, and that is, if I don't have it, I don't spend it. And, and if it's unconstitutional, that's the first thing that gets cut, anything that's unconstitutional. One more thing before we let you go. I mean, I've already heard you mention his name a couple times, so I think I know where this is going, but who's your man for president? You know, I will tell you this. I, anybody that we nominate is so much better than what we have. I will tell you that I have uh, a lot in common with a fellow named Dr. Ron Paul. I don't agree with him on everything. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, I'm not going to try to pander to folks that are hardcore uh, Dr. Paul supporters, but I will tell you that the man is an inspiration to me because he has the spine to talk about what he believes in. And, uh, and I think it's a shame that so many people have had their minds poisoned about the good man. Again, I don't agree with everything he said, but some in the Republican Party have so, um, have, have done such character assassination, if you will, toward the good man, that uh, some people, when they hear his name, they just, they just turn it off, they won't listen. And I think that's a shame, because just like now with the Federal Reserve, you've got most of the Republican candidates saying, Dr. Paul is correct, uh, we must do this, and, and they do it, some of them grudgingly, I'm convinced, uh, and, and that's a shame that, that his reputation has been tarnished to the point where even uh, commentators uh, and people that are in your line of work won't give him the time today. Well, we're glad to see somebody else out here supporting the ideas of liberty. Um, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Derek. Everybody, you. check out glennaddison.com and find Please out more do. about this man and get involved. We'll be back later. Thank you.